And yeah, it's important to note that this isn't causing any dangers for people at this time at all, but there is a highly contagious strain of bird flu that's causing a lot of fatalities in birds. And just to be cautious, the Woodland Park Zoo has closed some exhibits for the summer. The Woodland Park Zoo draws families with its fascinating and fun exhibits. A baby bear cub, a red panda, flamingos, wait, plastic flamingos? We're still keeping the flamingos in back of house. Avian influenza or bird flu is infecting birds across the country, including more than 2,000 cases detected in Washington. There's a particularly virulent form strain this year that is uh, causing a lot of fatalities in wild birds as well as domestics. Woodland Park Zoo as well as the Washington State Fair have pulled most of their bird exhibits to protect animals. The illness giving birds and people something to squawk about. I come as a zoo walker on Tuesdays and Thursdays. One of Ellen Margarita Beck's favorite parts of the zoo is the duck exhibit. They're gorgeous. Their colors are all so different and you'd never see a duck like that anyplace else. But it's been closed to the public for months. We're constantly balancing risks to animals with their welfare and their quality of life. Director of Animal Health, Dr. Tim Storms, explained they're constantly evaluating the risks and rewards of which exhibits are open and which are being held back for safety. Take the penguins, for example. They're in the process of molting, which has an effect on their immune systems. They decided the more confined space used behind the scenes was adding extra risk for other illnesses to spread amongst the wattle, so they let them back out. The penguins are a great example of uh, diving in and no pun intended, making sure that their uh, ongoing risks to their health are balanced with the risk of infection out there. It's great to see them back out again, the ones that have been let out. Now, one of the main concerns with the bird flu spreading is people that own chickens because they can get into a flock and then spread amongst that flock. So the Department of Agriculture, Washington State Department of Agriculture, has some great resources on their website for chicken owners. But for now, live in Seattle, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News. And